Well, as you know, we are super busy here at the ranch. And what I like to do is I like to get my ground meat done. Here I have a beautiful piece of elk shoulder that I'm going to grind. I'm going to use my outer edge feel bone. I love this knife. It's super handy. It folds up so I can put it in my pack real easy, but I love using it in the kitchen. So now I'm just going to cut this piece of elk shoulder up into some smaller pieces, put it through the grinder, and then later I'll show you how to make a super secret masakia meatball recipe that we love here at Full Draw. Now it's time for How To, brought to you by Outdoor Edge Knives, Field Proven, and Razor Sharp to get the job done fast. Hi, this week's Outdoor Edge How To here on Everything Eichler is going to be one of Everything Eichler's favorite recipes. It's actually a recipe that I grew up with that my mom and dad used to make when we were kids. It's called Masakia Meatballs. This is the ground meat I prepared months ago, and now I'm going to show you how to make the meatballs. You can use any kind of wild game, including antelope, elk, deer. Today I'm using elk. And you can also mix in a little bit of pork if you want, but it's totally not necessary. And the other thing is, in our wild game, I don't have any pork fat put in. I figure we have the best meat in the world, the leanest, the most healthy thing you can eat. Why add fat to it? So all I use is a couple of eggs to hold everything together. So first I'm going to take two pounds of ground elk, and I'm going to add a half a cup of mixed Romano and Parmesan cheese, grated, a half a cup of fresh chopped parsley, I have a half a cup of chopped onions and one teaspoon of chopped fresh garlic, a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, and then for every pound of ground meat that you use, I use one fresh egg. These are our eggs from our chicken, so we have different colors, kind of look like Easter eggs. And now I'm simply going to mix it up. And you don't want to over mix the meatballs because then they get actually kind of mushy. You want to mix it so that it still stays kind of coarse until the ingredients are just, just mixed. So when I'm done with this, you'll notice that you can still really easily see all of the ingredients. A little bit of seasoned salt. And then you can always change the seasoning after you've cooked the first one, you can taste it. Okay, so our ingredients are completely mixed together. It's not over mixed, and the meat is sticking together very nicely without having to have any kind of pork fat or anything like that. So now all you'll simply do is get just about a, a palm size amount, and you're gonna make them into meatballs. So we made about 18 meatballs out of the two pounds of ground elk. And now we're just going to fry them in a little bit of olive oil. We're just going to wait till they're browned on all sides, and then we're going to put them aside, and you can either freeze them for later use, or you can put them into your favorite spaghetti sauce. I like to make a homemade sauce from fresh tomatoes from our garden, or tomatoes that I've canned. Stay tuned, and I'll give you that recipe on another episode. And we're just going to flip them over and let them brown on all sides. And when you're making meatballs like this, you do not have to cook them all the way through because they'll cook through in the sauce. And actually then all those flavors will help mix in and make that sauce just really rich and flavorful. So it's not necessary to cook a meatball completely through unless you're going to eat it without sauce. Then of course you want to cook it completely through. But I definitely want it browned on all sides. 